The delay to implement the retirement tax reforms promulgated last year has been hailed by the unions. Employers have been rattled, on the other hand, as they have been preparing for the changes which will tax retirement fund contributions in the hands of the employees instead of employers like in the past. The looming implementation of the retirement reforms at the beginning of March prompted thousands of employees to resign from their jobs to cash in their provident fund savings in the mistaken belief that they would have no access to them once the law was implemented. Ufeta Sileka is the manager of media and stakeholder relations at the Government Pensions Administration Agency, and he joins us now in the studio. Good afternoon to you and welcome. It's a pleasure. All right. Why was this law postponed in regards to its implementation, as many people hoped that it will be in place soon? I think from the Government Pension Agency point of view, this is good news. It will give us enough time to engage with our members, to in intensify member campaign is good news because by the time it is implemented, hopefully, one year from now, the 1st of March 2016 or the 1st of March 2017, we'll have consulted widely, educated members widely. This is good news. It should be seen as a good news for members of the government pension fund who were resigning in masses because of misconception about the pension reforms. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's recap where the problem started. Many people started resigning and all that. Was there miscommunication or was there something wrong with how the matter was uh, presented to the people who were about to retire and then the word spread around? Because, you know, the grapevine mm. is the most dangerous form of communication for other people to get information. So why was there a need to introduce pension reforms and how was it communicated? Indeed, grapevine is dangerous. From the government agency point of view, we have been communicating with our members as late as late as last year. We even wrote personal letters to them individually, informing them about the pension reforms to allay their fears. But where does it come from? It's multiple of sources. Others say it's the wrong information given by certain pro service providers, financial service providers. Others say government employees members are financially depressed. So for them, it was a good excuse for them to cash in the money. So it's, it's a multiple of factors that led to this misunderstanding. Mm. Yes. Then after that, after the en masse uh, resignations, is there a remedial uh, way of trying to salvage the situation? Because many people could be cash strapped or they could be starting afresh in as far as savings for provident funds is concerned. For those who have already cashed in, it's a lost cause. There is nothing that we can do. They've cashed the money. It's a lost cause. Some of them are employed. Some of them, they joined the social ranks from SASA looking for monthly state grant. It's a lost cause indeed. There is nothing that you can do. The best that you can do presently, if we can manage to save at least one soul from making this cardinal mistake, the better for us. And we are hopeful from the government pension agents that we will do that, we'll manage to do that in future given this delay of pension reforms. But then is there recourse in as far as this um, misconception that was created also by financial service providers? F there is no miscourse. There is nothing that can be done. Remember, once you retire, you have retired. Once you have resigned, you have resigned. There is no legislation in South Africa that pre prevents people from resigning. Is there a prerogative to resign? Unfortunately, they resign on the wrong premises, but there is nothing that you can do. The only thing that you can do is to continue to intensify a member campaign, to talk to our members. I mean, we're talking about 1.3 million members of the government employees pension fund all over the country. Mm. We will continue to intensify our member campaign. We'll go out like we did even last this on Tuesday. We're at Botabelo. We were talking to members of the GPF who are about to go into retirement. Basically saying to them, don't resign. I mean, Colin, just to give an example, in August, when Klexop, I met a former family member. His name is George Sabalai. He has been in correctional services for almost 40 years. He's left with eight months to go into retirement. And by then, he has made the decision to resign. We ha I have to sit down with him to say, you are making a serious mistake. And gladly, he didn't resign. He's still working, and he's going to retirement come next so, year. So engagement with people Engagement is the is best continuing. way, but it's a tough one, I must confess, because the moment people make a decision, they don't come to us 
when they make the decision. They only come to us after the mine is finished to say that I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. No, Fen, thank you very much for talking to us. It's my pleasure. All right. Fen Tesilika is a manager of stakeholder relations of uh, the Pensions Administration Agency of the government. And of course, if you are about to make that kind of mistake, well, we have done enough on our program. We've done our best to educate, inform our viewers regarding uh, this issue, regarding the pension fund, re pension fund reforms. And of course, we hope that uh, you have benefited a lot from listening and watching our program. And